Hey writers, welcome to another day of Writer's Workshop. Today I'm going to teach you something really awesome, but before I do that, we're going to review our five-star writing, all the things that great writers do. They always start with a capital, they always use finger spaces, they use lowercase letters unless it's somebody's name or an important place or the beginning of a sentence. They use periods at the end and they reread their writing. Another thing that every great writer always, always, always does is they always reread their writing. And in fact, that's our last step in our, in our five star writing. And that is what we're going to be practicing today. So today, your goal for writing is to reread your writing to figure out if it makes sense. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I was looking through my writing folder and I was kind of flipping through some pages and I realized I couldn't read some of my writing. I could not read some of my writing. Some of it I could read and then some of it I was like rereading the sounds and trying to figure out what my story was about and I realized that I could make a pile I could make a pile of the writing that I needed to work on and then I needed to go back and try to reread. And then I could make another pile of all of the writing that's already done and that I understand and that I didn't need help with. So today, we're going to do that together. We're going to organize our writing into two piles. Into one pile, which means we might need to work on some things and then another pile, which will be all about the work that we have already done, that we already understand, and that we can already reread. Then the last thing we're going to do at the end of our writing time is, you're going to sit down for 15 minutes and write your very own story. After you write your story, you're going to read it to yourself three times all by yourself. You're going to read it to yourself three times, then you're going to find a family member or a sibling and you're going to read your story to them. Because a lot of times when we're in kindergarten, we'll write something and then we try to reread it and we have no idea what it was about. But I want to tell you something. If we practice really, really, really hard rereading our writing, we won't get stuck anymore. And we'll say, no worries, I already know how to read it because I read it to myself a few times first and then I read it to someone else to really make sure I had all the sounds in my writing that I needed and all my writing had my five stars. So you'll watch along with me as I sort my writing and then you're gonna do your own sorting. Today, I tore some pages out from my writing notebook and I took some stories from the beginning of the school year, from some time that we've been working on all of our writing, writing our true stories, writing about what we did over fall break, writing about things about our life. I took some of those stories out from my writing folder and today I'm gonna show you a strategy that you can use when you're trying to figure out if your writing is able to be read, if, it, if you can read it, because that's really important. All writers need to be able to read their writing. So, I have a little happy face here. I'm sure you can guess. That means that my writing is able to be read, and that I can read it well, and that means that it's probably done and I don't need to add any more to it. Over here, I have kind of like a sad face, and that means that I tried to read my writing, but I couldn't quite get through it because I don't remember what I was trying to say. So I'm gonna put some papers in this pile, some papers in this pile, and you can guess that at the end of my time today, I'm going to go back and I'm going to rewrite some of the papers that are in this pile so I can really practice rereading my writing. I'm going to start with my first one. 
Oh, I remember this story. It was about what I did over fall break. We drank apple cider. That was really fun. I remember that memory. We drank apple cider. Looks like I have most sounds represented, so I'm going to put it in the happy face pile. Remember, if you have to ask somebody what the word is, or if you get stumped, like you stop and you say, I just do not know what I was trying to say. That means you gotta go in the red pile. If you have to ask your mom or dad or whoever's helping you what the word says, it automatically goes in the red pile because you need to be able to read what you wrote. And guess what? Your mom and dad aren't always gonna be there to help you throughout life, so you're gonna really have to learn how to write on your own as well. It's good to use your teacher and your parents and your family as help, but we also want to learn how to become writers who can do things by ourselves. All right, here's my next piece of writing. Hmm, trying to figure this out. I see two girls. I think this was a story about my sister. I wrote phone. Own phone, okay. So my sister, I think I was trying to say sister. I'm gonna have to ask somebody because I just do not remember. Or I'm going to have to put it in my red pile because I I think I was writing about how my sister called me, but it, it doesn't look like I even have the right sounds. Like this is just the letter M. I might need an E if this is the word me. So I'm gonna put this in the red pile. I definitely need to go back and rewrite that, that one. Oh, this was another one about what I did over fall break. I went to see the leaves. I was hiking with my family. I had fun. Hmm, looks like I was able to read that on my own without any help. It goes in the green pile. And my last story says, I at Gers. I lick, hmm. Hmm. Also, I have some uppercase letters that should not be here, and I don't know why I did that. So, you know what? I need to go back and rewrite this story. I was clearly writing about grapes, and you can see that from my picture. But if I'm writing about grapes, I'm going to need some more sounds in that. And if I wrote the word, I like... I'm missing my, my I in the word like. So that's gonna go in the red pile and I'm gonna rewrite that. So remember, the ones in your green pile, you're all done. You can put them back in your writing folder if you want to. But the ones that are maybe red, you need to rewrite them so you understand what you were trying to say. Now, if you have all your stories in the green pile, then that's awesome. Then you can just focus on writing a brand new story today. So today, your job is to find a piece of writing that you might need to go back and add more details to, add more words, add more letters so that you can understand it, or you're going to take out a brand new fresh piece of paper and write your very own story on your own. Remember, your goal is to sit for 15 minutes all by yourself without anyone helping you, trying to write a real life story about something that has happened to you or something that you have done in your life. Then, that's your first step, write your story. Your second step is to read your story to yourself three times. And then your third step is to go find someone to read your story to. I know you can do it. You're working so hard and you're going to be ready for first grade in no time. Have an awesome time writing today, everyone.